There's no way two people can lift these things. We need to make this table super wide. So we're gonna be using these big tower blocks added onto the side of the table to extend the surface. Now these things are heavy. I think these things weigh about 600 pounds. They are beefy, beefy. There's no way two people can lift these things. So we're gonna put a fixture on the left. We're gonna put a fixture on the right. This is just basically gonna be a hook and it's gonna sit right on top of the table surfaces. There we go. Now we can put the bolt in. One of the reasons why I like the three quarter table system is because we can use regular bolts to combine stuff like this. Regular bolts are cheap, they're only like a buck. This thing's 55, 75, 80 bucks, depending on what manufacturer you get it from. So in this condition, this is pretty simple, but if we wanted to turn it perpendicular, we can, because we have a provision on the bottom for a dragon wagon leg, and that can give it full support. That way it can help you tune it in level, because it's gonna be extended out here a long ways, but these are pretty special. Now that we've extended the table surface, the next step is to join the H-frame with the pallet frame and attach the leg pads, which tie everything into the table. Since we're building this frame for a fireball tabletop and the one we're working on already has the legs attached, we're flipping everything upside down so we can line it up from the bottom when it's ready. But this is not as simple as it sounds. Each leg pad has four bolt holes and there are six leg locations which means 24 bolt holes all need to line up perfectly underneath to the table. If even one bolt hole is off, we won't be able to connect the table frame and the tabletop properly. So we have to be very careful with this fixture setup. Let's get to it. The top of the 14 inch tower block is going to hold the forklift pocket frame. Whew. A little tricky. We have a constraint here and here. This is what squares our whole forklift tube up. And then of course, everything is sitting on top of these tower blocks. That sets the elevation. Our leg pads are down here located with the fence blocks. So we have a three point system here, down at the bottom and at the bottom of this other leg. And because that's already welded out, we know that this thing can't move. And then we can come down, down here and tack our flange because our flanges are correct. So no matter whatever these legs do, we're okay. I guess the idea behind this is if we would have welded this leg flange to this tube earlier, we'd really have to be worried about uh, this tube being in the right location. But the way we have it set up right now is, is gonna be perfect. We have 3 eighths of an inch on either side of the toolbox, so we have a little flexibility, but we wanna try to get as close as possible. So this tower and this fixture is setting square off the face of this tube. So we bump our forklift tubes into this and this sets parallelism with the table. But I understand this looks overly complicated, but it's really not, it's actually fairly simple. Wyatt and I have just finished up fabricating all the frames. Check out the full table build video on the Fireball Tool YouTube channel.